good evening or early morning? Early morning, baby. Yeah, it's after midnight. We just yes. came in from uh, LA at the airport. Yes, yes. We are here at the California Hotel and mm -hmm. Casino. And uh, tell us what happened about the ride here. Oh, so interesting is that we usually take a Lyft or an Uber here. Mm -hmm. uh, we brought it up and it was really busy. So, you know, it's very high demand. Yeah. It was around, and the wait was hardly anything, maybe about five minutes, eight minutes. And it was like 60 bucks uh, for uh, our ride. I, was, I, I saw over 70 on my oh, side because okay. we saw, checked both. Right, Uber and Lyft. And so, you know what? We're going to go take a taxi. We took a taxi. We got here, we didn't have to wait the eight to 10 minutes so the taxis were there right away. Right. And it cost both of us to come downtown 36 bucks. Yeah, so uh, just know that if it looks ridiculously high on rideshare, consider a taxi because yes. it paid off for us. Right, and we even went further than their zone because we're in downtown. That's right. They have set rates for the strip. Right. So take a taxi. And, and there's no wait because there's always taxis available. We waited maybe like not even five minutes, huh, baby? Yeah, which is yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go, uh, we already checked in, so we're going to go yes. up to the room, uh, drop off our stuff, yeah. and then come down here to the Market Street Cafe because they're open until 3 a.m. Yeah, now, you mean, before, remember they were at 24 hours, not quite 24 hours yet. They're 7 a.m. to 3 a.m. And from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m., oxtail soup, you know, I got to do it. Yeah. Soup, yeah, we haven't eaten all day ever yeah. since we left, so we're hungry. Yes. Let's go eat. Let's go. Vegas, you know Market Street Cafe, Oxtail. We got in late. Um, so good. It tastes like it was really stewing for a while. This is what you get for a late night eat. Had all those veggies in there. Tons of oxtail in there as well. I'm surprised how many oxtail bones you have. Yeah. It's quite a bit. And it's busy in here too. And get your rice. Mm -hmm. Gonna go ahead and drop my little stuff in here. Uh, get it all and stuff is like what uh, ginger uh, it's ginger and parsley parsley okay there you go perfect flavors this is what i remember that means perfect perfect amount of that it's like so juicy that it really soaks up that broth really well kind of pops in your mouth when you chew it. I know these bones. I love sucking on those oxtail bones because all the juices are inside those bones. And look how well it's cooked. It just falls off the bone. Almost looks like an airplane. Mm. Yep. This is the bone that you suck to get all of those juices in. Now, you know, for the, a lot of people that are not familiar with like oxtail soup, it really is like a Hawaiian staple it uh, is. dish. It is. I mean, oxtail is done in Hawaii. I know the soup is what is done in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. That's the staple. But I know it's done in all different types of cultures as well. Southern. I do oxtails, southern cooking, soul food. Their oxtails are delicious as well. If you don't know what the oxtails are, they're actually cattle or beef tails and the beef tails actually have meat around the bone and this is the meat around the bone it's usually used for stewing or something that you cook a very long simmering process to get them nice soft and juicy and these are the bones that are delicious they have little even inside this is why you suck these bones because inside it has that delicious bone marrow that's inside the bone it's delicious what I got for my late night meal is the Hawaiian hamburger steak. Check it out. It's a hamburger patty down here somewhere, covered with gravy and grilled onions. And they give you a side of uh, broccoli, a scoop of white rice, and some mac salad. Let's try this out. Brown gravy, here we go. With the grilled onions. It's good. <laughs>
it is a thick ground beef patty. You can just see it. See the thickness of it. And that gravy matches with the grilled onions and the hamburger. Follow it up with a little bit of rice. And then you follow the rice up with a little bit of macaroni salad. Yeah. I really don't need the broccoli. I might uh, share it with you later. Okay, babe. But with the mac salad, rice, and the hamper patty, that's all I need. Delicious. I recommend this one a lot. That's gonna do it for our late night meal. That was good. It's like almost two o'clock. What time is it? Yeah, one thirty or something. One thirty. Yeah, one thirty a.m. So uh, tomorrow we have a full day we over do. here. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Right? And I think we're going to break it up into two videos because we have so much going on, huh, baby? That's right, yeah. yeah. This is all yeah. part of uh, part one here. This is part one, yep. So So, uh, see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, it was uh, a late dinner last night. Very late. But yeah. we had a good sleep. We did. That was a good we part. Mm -hmm. now, we, now, we're on the actual bridgeway that yeah. connects the California to the Main Street Station Hotel Casino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so what are we going for breakfast? We're gonna to go to the Garden Court. Now it's called an all-you-can-eat eatery, not buffet. All-you-can-eat eatery. Same thing. It's the same thing, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna shoot, actually shoot a separate vlog on it, yeah. but we'll show you some highlights and then uh, we'll get to see. Because yeah. the last time we were here was... September last year. Yeah, that's, when, that, was, that was during the reopening of mm -hmm. Main Street for the hotel, casino, and restaurants. Right, right. And so at that time, when we went to the buffet, we said, it's a good buffet. I mean, they have very good local food. I, we thought it was not worth the, the 19 dollars 99 price. So now we're going to do the revisit and see if they amped it up, if they opened more stations. Is it still worth that twenty ninety nine price? I mean, any buffet, especially in Vegas, Twenty ninety nine is not bad at all. Yeah. But we're gonna check this one out. We haven't been to downtown ever since then, huh, baby? That's right. Ever since September. Yeah, so I'm excited to try it out. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that one. Yes. So the Cal and Main Street are connected. We're on the bridge right now, so as you can see the Cal right here. You can see Main Street right here. And behind behind Bill is Circa. Right over here. Round one is the southern style pork chop, fried chicken, and fish. Let's try this pork chop. My round one, as you saw, I went to the Bill Joan omelet station. Got the ham and cheese, onion, and uh, bell peppers in here. Of course, side of bacon. I had to try out the Portuguese sausage, as well as the hash brown. So let's just dig into this. This plate is full of all local kind grinds. So I started with my rice, my fried egg Portuguese sausage. Right there is local. Then you hit it up with some aloha shoyu. Now they make these eggs uh, to order where I got yes. my omelets, yeah. right? Right where you got your omelets. Hit that with a little bit of aloha shoyu. <clears throat> right there is that local kind. Not as fancy as your local Hawaiian plate, but I do have some chicken fried steak with a country gravy. Their uh, kibasa their roast turkey, which was on the carving station. And of course, I have to try some pizza out. A machine right yeah. now, but that's a uh, wrap up of the uh, buffet. Yes, uh, it was it was good, very yes. good. Mm -hmm. um, check out the separate vlog mm -hmm. we have on it, so we have a detailed a tour of the whole place. We do, we do. Yeah. And we like to thank everybody who said hi to us. Yes, all yes. of our Hawaii Ohana that's here. My goodness, our, our Hawaii YouTube Ohana, they all come and say hi to us. Yeah. And again, if you see us, come and say hi. We don't bite hard. Yeah, there's a strong presence here. There is. Yeah, there because is. Uh, things are opening up travel-wise. So yes. A lot of Hawaii folks come in. Are Vegas. here right now. But yeah. it's nice. It's not very. It's 
busy enough, but it's not empty. So if you're still uncomfortable uh, coming out, you can definitely come here. Well, I keep in mind, this is a Tuesday. We're here midweek. As we so, always yeah, are midweek. So it, it's not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're gonna play some machine and I hope you win. Yeah, I hope so. Something's happening. Like, like a little bonus thing. Ooh, look at that. I wish a little devil came up because it's always a multiplier. Not this time. Still. It's a good one, $14, babe. You definitely uh, got more than what you started with, yeah. so that's good. How did hot stuff treat you, babe? It wasn't very hot for me. It was cold stuff for me, baby. It's the realities of gambling sometimes. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You, you actually tried both of them. Yeah. And they both uh, skunked you. They did. Here's the lift right over here. And check out our video in September if you want to see what's upstairs. Yes, there's some cool stuff up there, yes. right? In I fact, there's a lot of artifacts in this whole hotel. It is, and it's open to everybody. It's free. Yeah. What'd you get, babe? Would you know it? I have to go to a nickel machine to get my four of a kind. Still, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's uh, 500 I'm happy. Nickels. Yep, and in Main Street, when you get a four of a kind, ah, oh, it's not on this machine. Usually they have a score with four not available on these machines, but usually when you get a four of a kind, it brings you up a bonus. But these machines were available before, but I guess they took them off that program. Oh well, I still got the four of a kind though. It's all good. Walking back from Main Street back to California, honorable mention, our favorite uh, Hawaiian eatery right here behind me is Aloha Specialties. Usually it's really crowded, but uh, for Tuesday, it's pretty crowded. Yeah, but well, it looks like you can still walk in with no yeah. line. You had something about the gift shop? Yeah. Something about this gift shop. This is the logo gift shop for the Cal. It's only open weekends. It's not open Monday through Friday. Bummer, because I wanted to go look inside. All right, you're at the cow, right? Let's try it, baby. Okay, do it. I need something good, I hope. Uh -huh, let's see. Come on. Grand. I need the grand. Big money, big money. Big money, big money. Big money. Uh, what happened? Hold on. Grand. Grand. Good. Good Finally, you got something, babe. Something, babe. One more ultra. Oh, you did it! Got the major, the lowest one, babe. Not bad. Oh, wow. It's good. Yeah. We are now on the Fremont Street Experience. Yeah, walking around. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby. Oh, we got these from the ABC store. We did. It was like uh, three bucks each. Yeah, two for six bucks. Tonight, we have dinner reservations here at the Golden Nugget. Did any guesses which restaurant we're going to go to? Vic and Anthony, Flame Jumpers, Cadillac, Saltgrass. Which one will we end up at? We're at the D. We are. I haven't been here in forever. So I'm going to try this. The kids always win on this dancing drums game and I've had very bad luck on it. So I'm trying it out. It's a sit down two people game and it's a giant screen. So hopefully I'll win something. We'll I see. hope so too. Yeah, I know. Something just happened. Yeah, I think something I won happened. like and then I won $64. I hit something. I think I hit a bonus of some sort, maybe. The kids love it. Nice. Look what we won. Hey, someone's buying dinner tonight. What? Yep. Yeah. I'm getting That's steak. Cool. Now it's Crazy Rich Asians, and you got another big win, babe. This is your day right here. It's my day. Yeah. Two, 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 twenty-two. Yeah. What do you think, babe? Wow, it's only four ninety-nine right there. Me? Is it me? Uh, yeah, is sure, it me? I'm ready sure. For it does. Are they playing Thomas Dolby? Thomas Dolby, baby. 
Taking it back. We're taking it back in the 80s. Taking it back to the 80s. Hi. Yes. Little craft that she's yeah. doing. What, what's the story on that? Um, they're little palm thingies that someone climbs a tree and they get it for them. And then they pay those people for the little palm thingies so they can make roses and stuff. And they're really pretty. They are, yeah, they are. They are. And um, they, I guess, I don't know if she has a price. She may have a price. I didn't hear because someone just bought something, but they last forever. Yeah. Uh, it might be like donation. Yeah, I'm it thinking. could be. I'm not yeah. sure. Donation or if she had a price, but they last forever. Though. Yeah. They're really pretty. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Drink number two. Yes. Cheers, Cheers babe. Drink. Trying the pineapple one this time. I have a strawberry lemonade. Yeah, for. But two for six bucks, you can't beat it, right? Oh, it's carbonated. Oh, it is? Carbonated. Oh, wow. It's more lemonade than strawberry. It's good. Yeah, since we're uh, right next to Circa, we're going to go inside now. Check it yeah. out. We're upstairs at the Circa. Yeah, and I'm a baseball and basketball person. So this is like the perfect view for me when baseball and back oh, basketball season is right now. But when baseball season comes about, playing some video games, watching TV, you'll catch me here like all day. Yeah, this is a pretty awesome view right here. Yeah. Here at Circa, they have a claw game. 20 bucks is the minimum you can play. But I don't know, man. That's pretty weird. And you know these games only pay out when they're ready to pay out. Yeah, they are. So yeah. Gonna, I'm not going to invest my 20 bucks in trying this game. Yeah, so you know what's gonna happen. Yeah. It's gonna barely catch it and let go. Let go. Find yep. the claws weak. But it is a cool machine, though. It is. You don't see it anywhere else. No. Got this dune one right this here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's I like. I think I have to try it. It's like a whole little See art. Yeah. 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 I noticed here at Sugar they really go all out on their slot machines. Like, look at that one. Attack from the Moon Moolah. It's a big old screen over there. Yeah, let's see. Come right on top. Not just a slot machine. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I may have to try one of these. This was one of my favorite game shows on TV. Press your luck. We'll see how I go. Uh, honestly, I never even heard of Press Your Luck. It was like the best game show, right? So I know you guys remember it. Let's play and see if we win anything. I think you're just a junkie there right now talking about pressure luck. Win! Uh, yeah, it. if you guys heard of pressure luck, put it in the comments below because yeah. I've never heard of it. That's the whammy. Uh, yeah, okay. How did that work out for you? I pressed my luck and I lost my 20 bucks. Oh Man. well. Yeah, all you have left is 65 uh, credits. Yeah. You can't even play, minimum 75. Yeah, let's go move on. Hi, Vegas, Piggy, long time no see. Yes. And right downstairs is also the steakhouse, right? Very, so yeah, the yeah. best, what was that thing called, baby? Uh, the one that they put on fire. Uh, that's the uh, baked Alaska. Uh, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you drink two Trulies in a row. Yeah, I'm, not, yeah, I'm trying to feel it. Because I have a card here for the Club One, I think it's called, for uh, the D Circa. They kicked out a free drink coupon. Yeah, you have four of them. No, I have three. So I found two. So we'll see if they work. Hey! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> 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 
the drink coupons worked. They worked. And we got three Malibu and Coke. Yes, yeah, right here too. I'm feeling the love, baby. We're double fisting it. Come hey, on. Uh, hey, baby, you're wearing your new shirt too. I'm wearing my new shirt. From Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. That's from Mom's Life. So, I think we're going to enjoy this drink before dinner. Yeah, that bartender was pretty cool. Yeah, he was awesome. Yeah. Cheers, my babe. Cheers, my babe. Very familiar. This is very perfect. I mean, you can taste a perfect amount of Malibu and the Coke. Yeah. Not too much one or the other. But then again, I've already had two truly. Uh, me too, babe. Feeling the booze. Good thing we're not driving. Mm -hmm. So we're at the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory machine. Everlasting Gobstopper. Yes. I love these machines. They're like watching a movie. Hopefully we'll win something so something will play. But if not, it's very entertaining. Now, Put it in the comments below if you think Grandpa Joe was a freeloader. I ain't saying a word, baby. That's the grass. We're back at the Crazy Rich Let's Asian. Something's happening Let's here. Do it. Let's do it. What's happening? What's happening? Whatever I win here is what I win. I need the grand. Yeah. The grand times Come three. On. Let's go. Major. Maxi. That's Maxi. what I want. That can't be right, is it? Is that right? What? What? That's crazy, baby. 700? Now that's a major award. That's a major award. I gotta snap that, this one. Look at that. 757. And I'm half drunk too. That's the most favorite one. It is, baby. Wow! Holy crap! Uh, that is a big win. Passing it out! Look at that! Yeah. Final win right there. I think Nico still won more than me in his major, but I'm gonna take it and run. Yeah, good job, babe. Thank you, babe. It's dinner time. Yes. Yes, we have reservations here at Vic and Anthony's inside the Golden Nugget. We do. Uh, I'm kind of slurring a little bit. Uh, you sound good, baby. I do? You okay, do, cool. baby. Let's go inside. <laughs> we're hungry. We're not going to drink anymore. Believe me. We're going to be good. But good thing we're not driving. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go eat. We've already ordered our entrees. Now we're going to start with our bread. Here is the bread. Thickly sliced with the butter. Nice and warm. And you know they'll bring you more bread if you need it. But this is going to be enough so we can make sure we can finish our food. Look at it. It's a great piece of bread. Cover this up so it stays warm. And we're going to go ahead and spread some butter on this. I got my bread all buttered up. It feels like a really good, soft, maybe French bread, maybe? Mmm. Perfect. The crust is hard, inside is soft. This is a perfect bread. Oh, the butter is a little bit salty. Perfect bread to soak up that booze we drank earlier. This is delicious. Just put out our bacon. It has pepper crusted, bourbon barrel maple syrup, and root beer glaze. Two pieces, looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and take this top piece here. Thick cut, look at that. Perfectly thick cut. You can smell that maple syrup in this slice of bacon. Of course, with my butter knife, it cuts really easy. Here is the piece. Mm. There's crust here. It's crunchy. It has a perfect saltiness. You can taste the pepper in it. The pepper with a little bit of sweet. Perfect slice of bacon. I 
like a bavette's bacon better, but this is a really good bacon. It has that kick to it, where that pepper makes it a little bit spicy. It's delicious. Can you taste the root beer at all? You can't taste the root beer. You taste the sweetness, but I think what you taste the most on this bacon, I know what you taste the most on this bacon is that pepper. My turn to try out this bacon right here. That's a little balsamic vinegar. Oh, yeah. Look really, at that. I didn't get any on mine, so. There we go. It's almost like a like a cut of like pork belly. And you do get that balsamic flavor. But you're right, not too much root beer at all. But it is like a good pork belly bacon slab. It's good, I like it. But I think just one, it's gonna be good enough for me. Mm-hmm. Not overwhelming at all. Yeah. I got the A5 Kobe beef. This is from the Hyogo Prefecture, Tajime Black Kobe. The plate looks beautiful. It's perfectly cooked, as you can see. It gives you a little bit of wasabi on the side, but I'm gonna just try it this way. Perfectly cooked. You can taste that it. it's lightly salted. You can look the inside of that. You can see the little bit of meat, the fat around it. For my main entree, I got the prime rib cap. You know, that's one of my favorite cuts of uh, steak, which is really like the top portion of the ribeye. I asked for a medium. It's very tender. You can just see that piece just fell off as soon as my knife just hit it. Let's try this out. You can tell it has maybe some butter on the side. It's glistening, right? Look at that. And the inside, look at that. I'm gonna stop forking around and go for the bite. Yeah, nicely salted with some salt and pepper. It's almost like crystallized salt on the top. But the ribeye, very meaty flavor. The rib cap. Yes, the rib cap, which is the top portion of the ribeye. This is delicious. perfectly, huh, baby? Oh, yeah, it's perfect. You could just see it, the great little ratio between the fat and the meat. And this is really the favorite part of the ribeye, the little crescent shape usually on top of the ribeye. This is the whole thing. Excellent cut. Great flavor. I would highly recommend this rib cap for sure. So we didn't get the starch. We got the heirloom carrots instead. They're perfectly charred. Look at that. And I know this has just like pops of flavor in it. Mm, they're caramelized, they're sweet, perfectly cooked, but it still has a tiny bit of snap to it. This is delicious. I like that grilled caramelization on it. Croissant bread pudding. This is this one was awarded in the city for one of the best desserts. We can, this is hard. This is brittle right here. Ice cream. Here's the bread pudding. Let's go dig into this bread pudding right here. Get a little bit of that ice cream in it. This is a bourbon sauce as well. That is like an awesome bite. Mmm. Sweet. Perfect with coffee. It is a sweet dessert. The bread pudding is warm with that coldness of that ice cream. It's delicious. And it's enough to share for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a big portion. Yeah. And I believe on the menu it said it was only like 10 bucks. Definitely enough to share. Award winning bread pudding? Count me in. Let's try this out. You get a little bit of that ice cream. This is not vanilla, it's some other flavor. It has a. Mm -hmm has a slightly brown tint to the ice cream. You know what flavor ice cream that is? I don't remember. Okay, here we go. Looks like the perfect bite. 
It's on the warm side. It's really good. The little toffee bites add, adds that nice little crunch element to it. The bread pudding itself is not sweet. It's that little bit of glaze on it, plus the ice cream. It adds the right amount of sweetness. This is really good. Um, you know, it, I haven't tried a whole bunch of different type of bread puddings before. Every now and then. But I would have to put this near the top. It's delicious. Yeah. I like this a lot. Very good. I would recommend this. A little wrap up of Vic and Anthony's. Mm -hmm. The service is excellent. The food yes. is good. Yes, you know what? The only miss there was was that A5 black Mine. ragu. Yeah, it tastes like a regular steak. And it was $1.99. It was yeah. like 200 bucks for that. And to pay, I know our taste may be a bit elevated only because we've tried it before, mm -hmm. but I expect it to melt in my mouth. And because we've had that from here before, this right. is completely different. Yeah, this A5 cut that we got, because I tasted it too. Yeah. It tasted like a very tender filet. Yes. That's what yes. it tasted like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nothing so, too special. Yep, yep. So that was the only miss, especially that was an expensive miss. Right. Now, yeah. the rib cap, that was a hit. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. And the price point was great. Yeah, for 85 that. bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you come here and you're thinking about getting the, uh, the, the black wagyu. Right. I would maybe consider something else. Especially because it says market price, so you don't really know the price. But he tells you if he, when he explains it to right. you. And we've had it before, so I thought, and I don't remember before it was like one ten, but that yeah. was worth it. This one, yeah, eh, well, it's a little bit expensive. For they this did one. offer two different A5s, they did. and we got this the black, black A5. One, the black A5. So I would get the other one yes. if you're thinking about getting it. Right, right. So we're just keeping it real. We are. How about that? <laughs> You're crazy, baby. So now we're going to go to the free one experience and see what kind of bands there are. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the alcohol has really gotten us tired, so we had to walk around. No. Not yet. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly right yeah, now. And it's windy. Yeah. But there's a lot of people out. Yeah. That is a wrap from our full day here in Las Vegas downtown. That was a lot of fun. It's cold outside. So yes. we're in a casino yes. right now. Um, only because it's cold. Show you some of the music, huh, baby? Yeah, when we end. go outside, we'll yeah. see if any bands are playing. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, yep. And I have a few shout outs, baby. Okay, do it, baby. Um, I, happy birthday to all of these people. Mike Homer, Tim Garcia, Regina, Dan, Jaden, Elizabeth, um, Kurt Ming Chan's 99th birthday. Wow. Uh, uh, Carrie, happy birthday as well. So happy birthday wow, to all of those guys. happy birthday, everybody. Uh, Laura Coleman, thank you so much for watching. I work with your daughter, Christina. She is amazing, just so mm -hmm. you know. Uh, D and L, happy anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary. Uh, Tammy and Russell, thank you for saying hi to us at the Cal and all yes. of our Ohana. Yes. We saw the cow. We saw some people at the D. Right. And was there was anybody else? Oh, we saw someone at Circa. Yeah, right? uh, yeah. Main Street yeah. also. Yeah, Main Street Bunch just all over the place. Yeah. And thank you so much to our new subscribers. Be sure to subscribe. Yes. If you want to see what the goings on? Because just so you know, as of yesterday, we weren't coming to Vegas. That that's true. Yeah. We yeah. had we had somewhere else in in mind. Yeah, but it, the weather hindered yeah. us from going there. Yeah. So we did have something else in mind. So you know we're crazy. And um, for a know, lot of people. And, and it paid off for you. It because did. Because you won a huge check. I won. Yeah. I won. Yeah. I win always little small ones here and there, but nothing like we won. Yeah. And uh, also, just so you guys know, a lot of people are saying, I hope you guys were in Vegas at certain times. We don't know where we end up. We, I mean, like yesterday, we were supposed to be somewhere else yesterday, or today actually, that we planned it yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we will try to come when we come, but we don't even know where we're going because we have to really depend upon flights. Sure. 
Right, baby? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's always last minute. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So that's it, huh? That's it, babe. Okay, well, next week, we are on a cruise. We are. And we're not supposed to be on the cruise, but it's carnival yes they gave us a killer deal and we'll tell you about that next week yes a deal you cannot pass up because next week is mardi gras so you know where i was going to be in mardi gras right but right, for sure carnival gave us a deal we couldn't pass up that's right so until next week uh we will check in with you guys at the cruise yes and we'll catch you guys next on the next week. one yes, yes. No, Ben's here. Just again.